Hey guys, Ross here from Consolidata. And the majority of our users are selling some sort of software. Most of them are selling like a white label software, like Go High Level, uh, or their agency owners, etc. But a lot of them are interested in getting started in the software, especially because um, there's a high multiple on software. So I'm going to try something just a little different, a little unique in this video. Uh, I'm going to show you how we went about building Consolidata. Somebody who's a non-technical founder, meaning I don't code or anything, how I was able to take an idea, convey it to a development team, and get this thing built. Now, I have a little bit of an advantage, and that is that I already uh, had a software and sold it. You may remember Lead Carrot. And so the same process of how I was able to get what I was seeing in my mind out to the team, or at that time it was my partner, it's the same thing I do now. Uh, it's just now we have a full development team and they make it way better. So uh, this is going to be like a little bit of a low quality video here because I'm just doing this on Zoom for you guys. But you might be shocked to find that I'm not using something like Figma or any fancy mock-up tools. I use Canva. In fact, uh, because I'm uh, it's just it's simple, it's easy for me. And I want to really quickly explain uh, what you really need if you have an idea for a software and you're wanting to get it out to a development team or you're wanting to be able to build it. The main thing that you need to convey is what problem does this solve? And then what do you want it to look like from a user-friendly standpoint? And the reason why I think those are two major problems is because, A, if you can help your team fully understand the problem, they might come up with a better solution for how to do something than you will, especially because they have to figure it out on the back end from a tech standpoint. So like initially, uh, we were going to build it in one language, but then once I helped the team to fully understand what the problem was, they said, no, we should really be doing it here. And so they can give you those sorts of insights. We've literally had calls where I'm getting on teaching them about Facebook ads and Google ads and things that might seem irrelevant to development because they needed to understand things at a deeper level in order to be able to execute it into a software. So I want to show you something pretty cool here. Uh, I'm going to just open up my, um, my, my screen here and do a little screen share. I want to show you the first version. This is literally what I built when I said, hey, I want to build um, a tool like this. <laughs> you can see I, I literally went on Canva and I just took shapes and, I, and lines and I drew this out and I said I wanted to have you know, here's your reports. As a report's built, it'll go in here, and then you'll have your dashboard, uh, your reports, and your sources. And that's actually what ended up happening. I'll show you over here. The initial version of that looks almost identical to what we have. You log in here. Here, I'll let you side by side that so you can see that here. You log in. Here it is. You can and then we went through and we made each page as to what you would need. And then it went to the next stage where we started building out our dashboards. And you might think, well, surely when, now that you have a more advanced platform, you're using such something such as Figma. I don't. The team does. So when I first initially want a new idea, I literally will take a screenshot of our software and then I put it on Canva and I start mocking it up. I'll give you an example. Here's some features coming up, such as templates. I took a picture of our current software. I added in the button templates. It didn't even exist. I just mocked it in. I threw a few dashboards in here to give them the idea, like, hey, this is what I kind of want it to look like, where you drag a template. And then we do a video where they can see it. And then, hey, when you drag a template, I want a box to pop up, and then you go grab your attributes, and you'll basically just drag them in, you hit create attribute or create dashboard, and boom, that'll be done. Then, okay, well, once we have the ability to do that, then it's going to make it easy where now I want it to where we can clone our dashboards because to clone a dashboard would literally just be on the back end creating a template of the one that you have, saving it as a template, creating a new dashboard from that template. So you know, I showing them where I want these things, where I want these buttons. Then there's little nuances. So what I'll do is I'll go take a tool that I like the way like a list looks. Like I think this came from Databox. 
And so I'll snap it in. I'll say, hey, I want to be able to do a tool like this, but here's what I want to do. I want it to pull up all the attributes on the left-hand side. You select which one you want on there, and then I put. I want you to be able to select which one you want it to filter by, and then you'll be able to create have your filter down below. So I'll show them little things like that. Sometimes it's just little executional things like, hey, right now all of our boxes are perfectly symmetrical. I want it to where you can resize this just by dragging this left to right. So I'll put little things like that. Here's one that is a little bit more in depth. So I want to be able to add images into our dashboards. And so I'm showing them here. I added things that don't exist. Like right now, these section height, section width buttons, uh, there might be a section height, but there's not a section width. And right now the section height is a number, so I want it to be scrolled. Then I also wanted to be able to put like a background image or have a clickable URL open in a new window, background color. And I literally just like swipe things from Elementor and put the things that I want. So you can use other softwares to be able to think of those in-depth ideas and then have a box where it saves all your images. So having some sort of media position. And then I literally just go in and I will show where I want these things and how I want these things to look in the dashboard. And then they will go do their magic. But I'm literally just going into Canva and showing them how I want certain features to look. At this point here, when I created this, we didn't even have a software. I literally went on Canva, built this, and I ended up selling about 30 to 40 lifetime users off this picture, which is kind of funny um, to be able to sell 30 to 40 lifetime users just off of a picture of something that doesn't even exist. Then it, I had product validation. It was like, okay, this is something people will buy. This is something people want. And then we went out and we finished building our tool. We did get, um, before we uh, started reselling again and again, we did start getting it near MVP. So that way we could see, hey, this thing's materializing, coming together. But what a cool idea to be able to sell stuff off of an image and say, hey, this is where we're at. It's funny because initially when we built this tool, it was for internal purposes. It didn't look like this at all. We just had a tool that would grab data and put it on a spreadsheet for our agency. Then I was like, how would this look if I wanted this to sell this to other people? And I started going through this and setting this up and how I wanted it. And I started looking at other software tools and that people are familiar with using and thought, well, if I could do this functionality with that, I started laying it all out. And sure enough, that's what we have here today. Anyways, I hope that this has been interesting for you to see how Consolidata went from literally a Canva mock-up into now we have a full-fledged software. And the team makes things better. Like, for instance, my sources page was really ugly. Now they've made it look really pretty and the way that things look. But at least they get my idea like, hey, this is what I want it to look like. And then they can go in and build everything out. And what's cool is we've literally built all this from scratch. Um, a lot of people will go take uh, open source code and they'll, you know, do it that way. We built everything that you see from scratch. So it increases the value of the software, but also it allows us to really customize it and make it the way we want it. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching this. If you enjoy this kind of videos sprinkled in with tutorials, uh, please like, subscribe this video. I'm not sure if this is something you guys will even be interested in, but I thought maybe I'll start throwing out some SaaS content here and there and some agency stuff, just letting you guys see what's worked well for me. You guys have a great day.